to make uh, think about when we had the, the kiosk built is we didn't want it to just look like any kiosk. We wanted it to look like a washroom kiosk. And so we went um, up and down Third Street and took lots of pictures of all the little details on the homes in the historic district. And then we brought them to a builder at uh, Bill Beardson. And we talked about the size we wanted, we talked about the fact that we wanted brownstone at the base, and we talked about, we showed him the pictures, and he came up with some sketches, and then we worked on the sketches, and then he did a lot of back and forth, and then we gave, turned it over to Mike Pedersen, and his, um, uh, up, uh, Pete Dagstar, that he worked with, and they made the plan into the actual, um, It was it was a it was a, took a lot of talented people and um, to to sort of figure it all out. Yeah, there was no um, already made up plan. Peter and I had seen kiosks like this one in Decora, Iowa, but those are not anything like this. And we could hardly wait to take a picture of our all finished kiosk and send it to the chamber of commerce. Um, I want to make sure that I mention, and people can jump in here, I'll try this in a second. But, you know, why did we do this? And um, I want to make sure that people know that this is not a tourist thing. Although it's wonderful when people come to our town and see the kiosk and learn something about it. It's kind of another way that we're reaching out to people and saying, hello, here we are. This is us. And so we hope the tourists will stop and take a look. But it's more than just for the tourists. It's for Washburnites. It's for us. Because it's really important to remember something about the place where you are, where you're living, or where you've grown up, or where your family has um, been for many, many uh, generations. So. It's, it's to memorialize that as well as to welcome visitors and to show them who we are. So that's, that's the important thing I wanted to remember to say. Patriot, did I leave something out? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Okay, let's hear from Sharon Stewart and Lynn Adams about the panels for a little bit. I want to remind the committee that we started thinking we were going to make six of these and put them from end to end and down in the parks. And I'm so glad we got back our plan because this was a lot of work. I have to do the writing, and Lynn is the graphic designer, and then the Historical Society helped us find pictures as well as the ones that we took that are fresh and new. And that turned out to be much more work. If we were, had been doing this for six kiosks, we would have made our deadline, which was originally brownstone days. But then we relaxed <laughs> because we could, because that wasn't going to happen. So please, if you have good ideas for topics, bring them forth. If you have fabulous pictures that should be shared, bring them forward because we're going to be changing out the windows and making more panels. And any help you can offer is greatly received. Oh, Susan Macris was fabulous in helping us find the pictures. They're from the museum, and we borrowed them and scanned them and got them on the panel. Thank you, Susan. That was great help. We wouldn't be here without you. You don't want to say anything? This is our graphic designer extraordinaire. Okay, thank you. Now, Karen, would you say a few words, please? Good morning, everyone. This chaos is really, has really has three components. It was a dream, a dream of Jenny and Petra after they saw kiosks and decorum. It and then gathered others who also had the dream. It was also as a second component, the hard work of skilled and artistic persons in our community. You can see how beautiful the structure is and all the details that make it special. And the third component was the resources that helped make that dream a reality. A story. It begins with a small boy who would come periodically um, during his summer vacations to be with his Bobby and Grammy, Bob and Gert Spears. And during those vacation times, my dad, who I often said was the unofficial Chamber of Commerce for Washburn, somehow he instilled in his grandson a deep and inviting love of Washburn. When Eric became an adult, he and Colleen O'Shaughnessy, his spouse, purchased property in Port Wing. Obviously, his love of Washburn in the Shawamigan Bay area continues. After Eric's death, we learned that his will provided funds to the city of Washburn for the purpose of improving the community and supporting tourism. This chaos does both. I believe that Eric and his Bobby would be thrilled that this chaos is here for historical memories and for current events. Thank you. Okay, and finally, can we hear from our mayor, please, Mary? Thank you. Hi, everyone. I, um, I am so thrilled with how this project turned out, and I'm so grateful to everyone who was a part of uh, making this happen. I have to admit, when I first heard about this project, I was watching the city council meeting from at home, and I, I wasn't completely sold on the idea. I had a lot of questions. I wasn't sure uh, how it would work. I wasn't sure who would be responsible for all the different parts. And the wonderful thing is everyone who needed to step up to make this happen did and did an extremely 
amazing job and I couldn't be happier with the result. It's just a beautiful kiosk, um, something I've never seen before. And it, it most importantly, it, it's a celebration of a partnership of all of these different components. It's bringing history to life. It's easy to go to a community and you see signs that say historic something or other, and you don't really know what that means. And by having the history of Washburn um, on this kiosk for everyone to see, it is a, just an amazing way to bring history uh, into the community and to share it with others. And um, to have the, the chamber step up to maintain the information that will be helpful for everyone to learn about what's going on currently, in addition to seeing and celebrating the history. And then the artistic component. Um, you know, Washburn, one of the one of the special things about Washburn is that we have an amazing artist community here. So much talent. And um, without your idea on the trip to Iowa, where you were going uh, to learn more about art, uh, we wouldn't have this. And what a great way to celebrate our local artists and our history and our community. So I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone and proud to have this be here right in the heart of Washburn. And of course, it's always going to be a tribute to Eric and a reminder um, of his generosity and the love that he had for the city. So thank you to everyone involved and um, let's share the, spread the word and celebrate. Thanks everybody. That concludes our little ceremony, unless somebody else wants to say something. Thank you, Mary. All right, let's go have a look at the kiosk. And hooray for Jimmy and Pedro! Yay!